think I'm done with these dreadlocks, man. Should I cut them? Hey, man, they're so annoying. I'm kind of done with them. I know most of you guys are already on a keyboard ready to type. Bro, you about to cut your dreadlocks. So this looks, this looks, this, this doesn't look good. Y'all see that right there? Look at it, it's right there. Like I said, you wanna get it where it starts at, not where it ends at. Welcome back to another video of Activerse. The universe today is a new day. And we got a what? We got a banger. We got a we got a banger, 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 let's go! Let's go! Alright guys, today what I'm going to be doing is how to trim your dreadlocks. This is a tutorial slash advice and tips on how to do this. Indeed, when you are bleaching your hair and doing stuff to your hair that will make your hair, the end of it, loose. So, before we get into it, you know what we got to do. I want to announce the last best comment that I seen on the last video. And the winner for that jewelry reward is... Boom! That's you, man. You want some jewelry, man? Make sure you DM me on my Instagram, at Activerse, to get your jewelry. And also, we have a sponsor for this video, which is Activerse.com. You guys don't know what Activerse is. Activerse is a, is a hair jewelry, uh, which you can use it for dreadlocks, braids, double braids, two-strand twist, curly hair, and different things for men and women. And it's basically one of the best hair jewelry you ever will purchase. A lot of people been buying it, a lot of people been loving it, so don't forget to get yours and that. Guys, I know the setup back here doesn't look as great as it used to be. It's because we moved to our new place. Uh, we just got a new apartment in Phoenix, Arizona. We used to live in Peoria, Arizona. So for anybody that lives in Arizona, by the way, hit me up on my DMs and stuff like that. I want to collab with y'all. I want to show y'all some love if y'all out here. And in the future, I'm going to be flying out some people also. So wait for that, man. There ain't no cap. We haven't even got our bed. We sleep on the floor. On the floor. On the, on the floor? Yeah. Uh, we got rid of everything that we had. Uh, the furniture, the TVs, TV stand, bed, the couch, everything. And to start a new. That's the best feeling ever, actually. Yeah, let me give you all the tips that whenever you're dealing with this, how to trim your dreadlocks. This quite often happens, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about before I even get into it. Like right here, you will see it making like an L shape. Like it's literally like snapped. This right here happens mainly because of the bleach that I've been doing recently. And also for those of you guys that wash your hair a lot, a lot, a lot, this happens. And this is when basically whenever your, the water goes through your dreadlocks and it comes down to the tip of it, it pulls some hair down. When it pulls some hair down, what it does is that it kind of like detangles some of the hair and basically almost like, you know, when you're drying something after you wash it like a towel or a rug, all the wet part would be on the bottom. So that'd be the heavier part of the towel because it contains the water still. And it's kind of like that when it comes to dreadlocks, whenever you're putting products and everything in, the end of the dreadlocks is the thinnest one. And so, you know, you know gravity and everything with the water, uh, what it does is it pulls down your hair and as it pulls down your hair of course it becomes thin because the dreadlock is supposed to be ending like somewhere around here but it ended up being pulled down by the water or by different things that you guys have used before and so now this part is very thin it's very curly and some of you guys may even deal with the curliness on the bottom of your hair and you may think like dang I got some curly hair and you do for the last there was one time that I showed people that how to blunt their tips but there comes a point where you have to depart from your dreadlocks because because it's been stripped away by the bleach and what I mean is right here you see some videos right here of people that have bleached over bleached their hair and basically their hair is can't even be connected can't even be blunted back to the dreadlocks because it has lost so much of the strength that it had so it's literally basically like you know a hair has its own strength to it you know just like how a spider web has its own strength to it, it has its own strength but after you keep bleaching it you thin it in the whole the whole thing out to where it can't even hold anymore it can't even go back to the dreadlocks anymore and that's when you separate with it by saying goodbye i'm just gonna say never say never but that would make sense so guys, my advice whenever you're bleaching your hair, don't over bleach your hair. Be careful on the tips. This is where the very thin part of your dreadlocks is. 
Um, meaning thin doesn't really mean like uh, you take one hair from here and you take one hair from here and the bottom is thin. That's not what I'm talking about. Thin as in like it doesn't have much hair down there locking up and holding itself. It has like, let's say this is thick, right? This, uh, this is the amount of drill locks that's combining up here, right? Like up here and this is thin meaning that it doesn't have that many hair to hold itself together and so it's thinned out. Now when you bleach your hair, guess what happened? It doesn't, it, it literally gets into the whole thing right off the back like that and it's just like, it doesn't need as much time that you apply for this thick one to this one. So it ends up basically parting away from your drill locks. And some of you guys have experienced if you guys have bleached your hair. Uh, some of you guys uh, will experience in the future and some of you guys have maybe experienced it without bleaching your hair, the thinness of your bottom because of the water weight. And so today I'm gonna be dealing with both sides. First thing first is I'm gonna be showing you guys how to blunt your tips and this is the easy way to avoid it if your hair is not stripping away from a bleach. If it's just a black, or if, if, even if you have dyed it and it has not, you know, got to that point yet, this is how to recover it. So go get your crochet needle. You know, I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna pull this hair out right here. So right here, you see the L shape is like it's been broken basically, like, but it's not like you know done, like it's like broken, like it's not working anymore. And you can try, could try to straighten it out, but it's just like the weakness of it just doesn't let it just stay there. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna blunt the tip by uh, folding it to where it, where it breaks at, like literally, it's be like this, like all the time. Like it don't matter if I try to do this or anything like that. Maybe even if you have, if you wash your hair and let it sit down. That's the only way to just straighten that because the water, like I said, would literally pull it down like that. But of course it's thin already, so if the water's pulling it down, it's gonna make it even thinner. So watch this. So to start off, you wanna just, you know, go in like that by folding it where it broke at, like literally where it's like making that shape. And also you wanna test out if this part of it is thin also. So you wanna combine it thin with thin so it can be thick. You don't wanna combine a thin one with thick one unless that's the only option you have. So I have a thin and also this part of it is a thin. So I'm gonna put it like that. I'm gonna go in and out of it from, you know, from the opposite side. And that's the point of crochet needle to pull the hair from the opposite side into the drill locks from the opposite side that you poked from basically. So let's do it. So this is literally how it goes. So you see right there, I already start holding it because I start pulling the hair from this side to the other side. And uh, I just did this part and you see this loophole, like, like a loophole kind of thing right there going on. And that'll be gone once I get to that part. So, and this is how you practice easily too by blunting your tip. You learn how to use crochet needle. You gotta be careful also that you don't, it's a needle so you know, when you're trying to go fast or anything like that, you may end up putting it in between your your nail. Like I've had, I've heard, I've heard people that put it in between your nail and it went inside, and the literally it broke off the nail. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to rush to it. Once you get used to it, you know you can start rushing to it. It's almost like cutting a knife, right? You start cutting a knife in the beginning, you don't want to rush to it because you're gonna end up chopping your fingers. But after a while, you get used to it. You become like a, a low key chef at the crib, and you start going a little faster. So so far, this is what I got going on, and this is another trick to do so that uh, the hair can be you know attached really good without you having to do with a lot of the crochet needle you just go palm roll method and basically this what it does is kind of dims down the hair to where it allows it now to connect by itself on itself uh, so you can even leave it at this because you know I firmly believe that it will, it will end up connecting itself. If it's pointing out like that, that's when you come with the crochet needle. And this is like a part of the hair that is really bleached. So I gotta be careful not to strip away a lot of hair because it's already dry, you know, it's already, whenever, whenever you bleach your hair, it becomes dry. So it's already dry, so I don't wanna touch it too much to wear. Like it's done. So boom, and give it the friction. And there you have it. That's how you blunt your tips. Better way to see it. See it? So that's the first way to do it. The second way is actually to strip out the hair that is already done. If it is a black, like you've never done, you've never dyed it before, and it looks healthy and stuff like that, go ahead for the blunt uh, method, and that's why I showed you that first because that's the first option that you have. The last option and the second option that you have is to actually cut it off and strip it away. And I'm gonna show you how to do that 
the perfect and the right way so that you don't damage the rest of your dreadlocks. Okay, so right here I'm able to find a dreadlock that literally is like on the brinks of it going away. So I'm gonna pull that out to show y'all what that looks like. So right here there is the thinness of it right there you see it very thin it's barely holding it's literally like going away uh because of the bleach uh right here is actually pretty thick because this is i think what i blunted last time and i can tell by the way it kind of like curves in like that i can see that this is the last time what i blunted but the blunt didn't get to where it is where it was really thin and so basically this ended up happening so i've seen a lot of people you know try to pull their drill locks like this like that and like you know get get rid of it and i think that's a that's a one way to do it what i would recommend you to do uh would be like get some scissors <laughs> you know it's, it's the only way I, I know whenever you know scissors and drill locks doesn't go uh you can't mention drill locks and scissors in the same sentence it's a it's a sin against the drill lock community um but i'm mentioning it this time just to show you guys how to deal with this i know most of you guys are gonna say like already on a keyboard ready to type bro you about to cut your dreadlocks bro just get rid of them dreadlocks start new again i understand those comments still but my boy calm down i ain't doing that yet okay oh i'm not doing that ever let's get to this so you see this right here the part that's stripping away the only scissor i was able to find was a, a tool scissor so it looks this looks this, this doesn't look good you know like i said drill lock with drill lock with scissor doesn't really work good so right here you'll see the thickness of it and you don't see much through it and watch till it gets to watch till you start seeing the drill lock see through y'all see that right there look at it it's right there you don't see it here i'm gonna get closer okay because you tripping i see it you see that that part right there see how thin that is that's thick thin Thick, 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 keeps going down the line. The thin part you see literally through right there. So that's the part that's parting off. So now I know, and now you know where it starts at. And so that's where we're going to go chop it at. That's where literally right there. Like I said, you want to get it where it starts at, not where it ends at. Boom. See that? Boom, right? Take that out. Throw that in the trash. I'm just kidding. You can keep it, you know, put it on the on somewhere. Or you try to like I said, if this part is like very stripped away, it would never reconnect. Normally I was I saw I told you guys I'll fold it and blend tip it. But I'm showing you guys like if this part is like done done, uh, what to do. But on this instant, for example, I'll just go like this and then reconnect it. So I'm gonna comb it out, the thick part, so that I'll be able to connect them. Basically. Boom. See that? It's part of it now. So what I would do now is I would just crochet needle for just a little bit and palm roll like I showed you guys earlier. Palm roll is one of my favorite rolls also, or my favorite method to kind of put everything together. So you got that. You see how everything is there. Palm roll. <laughs> Boom, the drill lock is in there. This is magic, man. I'll be working magic up in here. Literally. You can't even see it. It's, not, it's the same drill lock, I promise y'all. <laughs> you can see the extraness of it just a little bit right there. But this is real, man. Sometimes it gets like that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have like a bad comment like, don't do that to your drill locks, then put it in the most criticism way. Criticism criticism way so i can read it and take a note of it and learn from it also thank you guys for watching this video till next time keep back to the universe and creating your universe make sure you comment make sure you like make sure you subscribe share this to somebody also goodbye and credit scene and credit scene we about to hit 30k guys i'm gonna surprise y'all with the best dreadlock video ever which is me dyeing my hair new color you guys may think it's a certain color but actually i've decided to make a new color so Hope to show you guys by the end of June, I believe.